We live, baby. Good afternoon, family. <laughs> this is going to be another channel message today for whoever needs it, for my collective. Um, I was trying to tune in to you guys' energy and kind of see if there was anything that they wanted me to channel and write down, any type of advice or anything like that. And they just basically told me, go ahead. So we about to go ahead and jump into the energy. Um, I hope everybody has been staying protected, grounded, all that good stuff. Um, I hope y'all got a chance to get y'all crystal yesterday. Um, a lot of downloads as it regards to uh, doing crystal work for the earth, doing crystal work for the community. Let me lock my door real quick, y'all, so my sons don't come busting in. But, um... Yeah, I'm working on getting a, a more formal setup too. I'm just, I'm literally doing what Source told me to do. So I'm just, I'm here, straight, no chaser, like raw and uncut, period. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I say raw and uncut. I'm thinking about band gang. So there, there could be some significance to band gang as far as what's, what type of energy I'm gonna be tapping into. So do my niggas suck. I fucks with band gang the long way so yeah um but yes doing work um in regards to healing the earth um putting out healing crystals doing everything that we can do not only to heal the ancestor from within us but to heal them while they're in the earth as well or on the earth plane still so just putting crystals down there you know <laughs> honestly demanding that these now i'm starting to channel because i'm starting to sweat so demanding that these people that stole our land and keep wanting to act like black people are lazy and insignificant and all that other stuff you know demand that they give us our land back demand that they at least put a plaque saying that yeah this was an excellent city this was a great city an awesome place of power a place for the community a place for black people but we tore it down and murdered these people and, and put them into poverty and you know so putting respect on the ancestors name more than anything that's been coming through a lot lately um some of y'all could be having anxiety too uh i know my anxiety has been a little bit high lately um it could have to do with the seasons i usually I'm not claiming this or anything like that, but <coughs> I usually get seasonal depression around this time. Um, just because <coughs> I never really liked <coughs> the holidays to begin with, to be honest. But now <coughs> the holidays are really completely different for me because I really don't have no family to celebrate it with. So um, the seasonal, but it's, it's kind of kicking in a little bit, especially with... Uh, my sister's birthday coming up and my son's birthday's tomorrow my birthday is in a little bit over a month so um the month before your birthday is always a reflection period so if you are a Sagittarius or you're a Scorpio um you either spent these past few weeks leading up to Sagittarius season or you spent these past few weeks leading up to Scorpio season which started last week um just going within reflecting Um, clearing out the thing, the, the old shit that doesn't serve you. Um, a lot of you guys could need to uh, cleanse out your closet. The old stuff that you were wearing. I know before I went through my stuff, I think last year, I had clothes from middle school. Literally. There's no reason for y'all to be holding on to that kind of stuff. It's got so much of that energy too. So much child like energy it was just childish i didn't realize how much shit i had that was not mine how much th shit that i had that you know didn't really serve me stuff that i didn't even know that i had so you know clearing out your closet clearing out your your drawers and shit like that so we about to hop into these cards I'm 
will say a prayer to protect us. I thank you, Most High, for allowing us to tap into this energy. I ask you, Lord, that you would give us a clear reading, a clear message. I ask that this message will be helpful for my collective. I ask you that it will bring peace, love, light, clarity, um, and reduce anxiety for whoever needs it. Um, I thank you so much for allowing me to use my spiritual gifts to be able to help other people. And um, I ask that this message will re reach the right people. And uh, thank you so much. Ashe. So, as soon as I start tapping into the energy, my solar plexus, I, I've got, I'm getting a lot of anxiety. Like, I can't even talk now. So, a lot of you guys could be dealing with, like, having anxiety attacks, having panic attacks and stuff like that. I know when the pandemic first started, I was having really, really, really bad anxiety attacks, which I actually come to find out were psychic attacks. So, um, make sure you guys are staying protected. Get yourself some black tourmaline. Get yourself some black onyx darker crystals things like that so that y'all can stay protected um yeah yes a, a lot of significance a lot of significance to the solar plexus sorry uh a lot of significance to the solar plexus um all that kind of stuff so gonna channel see what deck they want me to use okay they want me to pull a lemurian card first so that's it <clears throat> so most high god allah angels ancestors ra here in Tutankhamun. Hello. Well, that was quick. <laughs> we got endless opportunities. It's wonderful to have the freedom to choose. However, sometimes indecision can almost be suffocating. So get into your body and let your gut feeling guide the way. You have options and opportunities you may not have realized. The universe wants to give you what you want. It's all out there. So reach out and wholeheartedly choose it. While you are sitting on the fence, your experiences are diluted or confusing. We live in a time of choices. Sometimes reason and limitation direct our choices. And we feel unfulfilled as a result. Choose life from a place of heart, compassion, and integrity, and you can't go wrong. So yeah, um, I definitely got drawn to that sentence that said, uh, let your gut feeling guide the way. So a lot of you guys, you could be having some intuition, like your solar plexus, that, that's where your anxiety comes from. So you could be using your intuition to uh, tap into something where there's something that you know and you are kind of on the fence about making a decision. excuse me about something and the second card we got out is manifestia we got this card before so you can decide how you want to live the universe fully supports your choice to step into the optimal version of yourself dream big dream big then dream bigger now is the time to start the projects you have been considering all it takes is some pollination be creative with your visioning. Mm -hmm. Sow the seeds of reality you want to experience through affirmative thinking and higher intention. Then anchor or ground these dream seeds. Manifest from the heart. Overcome fear. Take strong positive action and let go of the outcome. Know and trust your dreams are already on the way and expect to see results. So yes, it seems like a lot of you guys are on the fence about a project or you're, you're not sure what's going to happen next as it pertains to a certain project or a business or something that you might have started um i can definitely relate um make sure y'all follow me at detroit bougie burgers and at uh chocolate star organics so you can stay updated on the pop-ups that i'll be doing i'm going to be doing um a halloween celebration soon on sunday um i have
have a couple more events coming up so make sure y'all stay in tuned in for that as well um i appreciate it um uh, and yeah we are going to tap into the cards what deck do y'all want me to use they telling me you pick um We're going to go with Miss Cleo. So, all I angels and ancestors, if you could ground my energy and protect my energy as I get a card or get a message as it pertains to my collective. What messages do you have to deliver to the collective? Manifestia. Ace of Coins. Manifestia. I, I didn't even know Manifestia was a word, but yes, yeah, the Ace of Coins. Y'all are manifesting some money. What's going on with my collective? Can we get a clear message as it pertains to the collective? Higher source of light. Angels, ancestors, Anunnaki. Can you give us a clear message, please? Divine spirit. Spirit, can you give us a clear message? As it pertains to my collective. Telling me it's gonna be another past life reading. <clears throat> so, yeah, the overall energy for this reading is the Ace of Coins. This is crazy, y'all. I think I know exactly how this is about to go. And I just had a dream that was similar to what this message is. So a lot of y'all, y'all are definitely in my soul tribe. We are definitely connected. Wow. Okay. So. Um, for the first card out, we have the Two of Staffs. The Knight of Coins. The Four of Staffs. The Seven of Staffs. And the High Priestess. So with these cards coming out, the Two of Staffs represents um, looking out to the world. Basically, like, I'm hearing, like, standing on the mountain. This is reminding me of, I just watched it, uh, an Egyptian documentary about how they found a place where Comet was first being built um, and it's like he was standing on a mountain this great king I can't remember his name but he was standing on a mountain and um, they used the Nile it's like the Nile is constantly here in the background they used the Nile to travel to trade 
So some of you guys, you could have been an ancient king. What the? My phone is blowing up, y'all, just all of a sudden. So that could be this this ace of coins. I ain't gonna lie. So a lot of you guys could be having like a lot of random calls coming through. Um, take those calls because you never know who it is. It could be somebody hitting you up for some money, for real, for real. It's a lot of money. I, I feel like it's money right around the corner for a lot of y'all. Like just literally right around the corner. Um, I don't know exactly who that's for, but it's gonna reach the right person. But um, yeah. So with the two of staffs and the knight of coins, it's like you guys used denial to trade. Uh, yeah, to, you sent things up and down the Nile from upper Egypt to lower Egypt. Um, you guys had your significant other with the four of staffs here. It's like a, a wedding card. So you guys definitely met your soulmate or you guys were in a successful marriage or successful partnership. Um, this person was able to teach you war tactics and things like that because with the seven of wands it's like you know how to put up your barriers towards like lower Egypt there was a, a fight between upper and lower Egypt and it's like this high priestess this all knowing priestess basically she was able to help in fights this is crazy this is hop shit suit so this is I know I was half shit suit in a past life, so this is basically like my story. Um, wow. <laughs> so, wow, I'm blown away, y'all. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, in the Four of Cups, I see like we have those three pyramids in the background once again. That's very significant, you know, three pyramids in the background. The pyramids in the background. So, um, with the Four of Cups here, it seems as though you or this person wanted to reject an offer, um, an offer to travel somewhere else, or they rejected a cup, they rejected a treatment or something. So, somebody could have been sick in a past life. I'm here. This is the story of Hopshet Suit. So, some of you guys are probably... Hopshet suit reborn too, like honestly. Um, yeah, Hopshet suit, she died, Hopshet suit died mysteriously and randomly. Um, people suspect that it was Thutmose the third that murdered her. I, I definitely think that that's the case, but uh, you know, history, they, they aren't able to unwrap her body, so she has to stay in her mummified everything so they can't really investigate more into that but um yes yeah, so it's like she made she was rejecting this small petty cup or she was rejecting some type of treatment or something because she was ready to go she was ready to cross over with the death card here it's like it was her time i don't know what else to tell y'all like <laughs> yeah with the nine of cups here this she has her arms crossed so i keep saying she so this is definitely the story of hop suit because she was the first woman pharaoh so um yeah it's like she has her arms crossed like she's a mummy and she was buried with all of her treasures here with the nine of cups um she stayed single for majority of her life um she probably died single yes and then um she left one daughter behind So that's so interesting. Yeah. And she left her daughter behind to help balance the scales. Balance the scales of commit of what was going on at the time. There was a lot of political fights and things like that too. There's a somebody that's really tapped in with their intuition. With the high priestess and then the justice card, so these were your deities too. The high priestess is Isis and the eagle head, uh, I believe that's Thoth. Don't quote me on that. I'm going to look that up. I've been doing a lot of studying, y'all. So with the last card out, we have the king of cups, the queen of swords, the queen of coins. 
the six of staffs and the wheel of fortune so it's showing me that um this king of cups is more than likely thutmose the third um he took over he was traveling on the nile a lot he took over yeah i'm seeing boats and things like that he upped the commerce he upped uh the trading and all of that stuff that was going on or he was very emotional he was a very emotional king almost like emotionally manipulative um and queen of swords i can't remember exactly who he married but he definitely probably married somebody that had a harsh tongue somebody that was good at war as well um yeah, it seems as though somebody wanted to come in and, yeah, remove the people that were in power. These queens with the queen of swords and the queen of coins. Yeah, Thutmose, he, he erased hot, sh hot suits, all of her information, all of her history. He, he dialed back everything that he did, basically like on some Donald Trump shit. Like, just like repealed all of the the progress that the Obama administration had made and stuff like that, he did the same exact thing. So he removed these queens from their power as well. Oh, shit, she was poisoned. Yeah, she was poisoned. She took this cup and she was poisoned. Yeah. And it's interesting how she has this one cup she's holding in her hand and she's chilling with her nine of cups. She doesn't have a ten of cups because she was more than likely poisoned by the person that was supposed to be her husband. Yikes. So yeah, um, with the six of staffs and the wheel of fortune coming out last, it's showing me that um, the most he was successful in his endeavors. Um... Yeah. Yeah, he had a lot of slaves though he he made people do a lot of slave work he was very harsh um like a cold heart yeah with this queen, king of cups he was like emotionally manipulative very manipulative kind of a guy um like gaslighty kind of energy too yikes what's up with that that most of third so yeah he turned the wheel on this situation. He tried to start a new cycle within Egypt. Or no, he wanted to continue the cycle. He wanted the cycle to keep going. He, That's why he took Hatchet Suit's name out of the the order of the kings and things like that. That way it could be, go from Thutmose the first, Thutmose the second, Thutmose the third, instead of Thutmose the first and second, and then Hatchet Suit, and then Thutmose the third. So... Yeah, tell me what's going on with this Wheel of Fortune. For my collective, as it pertains to this past life reading about Hot Shed Soup. That's so cool, Hot Shed Soup. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, he had a lot of anxiety about what he ended up doing. She was basically his mother. She watched over him. She took care of him. He had a lot of anxiety about murdering her. <laughs> That's, I mean, shit. What the fuck? <laughs> like, that's what happened. <laughs> okay. Can you clarify the will? Thank you. Thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. Um, to clarify the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Knight of Cups. So, yes, he was a young king. Good God, they blowing my phone up. He was a young king. Um, he was probably a water sign, very emotional. And it's like he tried to make his offering to the gods. He tried to make a sacrifice, basically, so that his, his bloodline will stay in power or rise to power. Yeah, with the star here, it's like he was trying to manifest the situation in the stars. But he was just kind of hung up. 
with a hangman. I'm also seeing a scarab beetle as well. So he could have been a cancer. Uh, the scarab is Kepri, so he could have been a, a cancer, literally. That would explain why he was so emotional. <laughs> yeah, and then as he got older, he got really controlling. Yeah, the sun. He is the sun. So this is definitely about Thutmos the third. It's like he wanted to make sure that he was still going to get his empire so oh and one last one yep the knight of swords it's like he definitely charged into a lot of petty battles and petty fights and things like that and the guys weren't too happy with him hey the guys weren't too happy with him so uh you know they sent you know the panther i'm just now learning that bast was actually a representation which is bast bastet she was a representat representation of a panther. So, um, this could be like Boss is really upset with the decisions that he made. So, she coming back. She coming for him at the hip, too. So, why does my collective need to know this story about Hatshetsu? Hatshetsu, why do we need to know? <laughs> Can you come through and give us a clear message as to why you want us to know the story of you? Thank you. Exactly three. Okay. Oh my gosh. We got the emperor. Or wait, no. The empress. The number three. The emperor. And the strength card. So three plus four is seven. And then strength is eight. So what this is showing me is like there was just one component that was missing, and that was a son. So there was speculation that Hatshetsu had a counterpart, but they never got married because she didn't want to give away her power, basically. So they still rule together for sure. He was um a mentor to her daughter Nefature as well. Yeah, it's like she had she had to have the strength to be without him basically. And it's like it's almost giving me the energy of like she carried more of the masculine energy and he carried more of the feminine energy. So Yeah, like I was telling y'all, Hatchet Suit, she was the first woman pharaoh. So it's like, she had to sit on her throne and do her thing. And she had Boss on her side, you know. You see the two panthers? She's got Boss on her side for sure. But it's like, her counterpart, he was more, yeah, of more of a feminine energy. Like I said, he was a tutor to her daughter, Nefature, so... It's like they were the perfect couple. But they just had, they just had one thing that was missing. And that was probably that they wanted to have a son. So, why do you want us to know this? Hot shed soup. Do you have anything else to say to my collective? Hot shed soup, do you have anything to say to the collective? I am so alive. Can you help her speak? <laughs> wow. Yes. So a lot of you guys, you have a brand new opportunity coming through. Uh, a, a, it could be a love opportunity or um, some money coming through. Definitely. She wants you guys to know that. I almost switched the energy. So, um, yeah, it's like a lot of you guys are on the fence. You're kind of stuck with making a decision to move forward with something or you feel bound, stuck and bound to a certain situation or to a certain person. Um, this could be a Virgo. But the Hermit also, it just represents going within. So a lot of you guys, if you feel bound, 
there here we go we got two eights here the eight of swords and the eight the strength card so a lot of you guys need to have the strength to walk away from this situation or have the strength to open up your eyes and realize that you are not bound to this situation you can just go within you need to go within so a lot of you guys probably need to be single um you just need to go within and realize what you want and who you are and all that kind of stuff yeah we got the knight of staffs on the bottom of the deck so she wants you to tap into your like childlike energy <clears throat> yes because once you do that you'll have your ten of cups mission completion <laughs> yeah you're not gonna sit up here and have to struggle and carry these seven coins on your back and be stressed out about all the burdens that you got on your back and shit like that. You're not going to have to worry about that. Exactly. Because you're going to have a divine counterpart coming in with the two of cups coming out. A lot of y'all have a divine soulmate, a divine counterpart, a divine partnership, relationship, whatever it is. Something divine. Another part of your soul is going to be coming in to show you love. To balance out the scales. Temperance. Temperance is the Sagittarius card. So this could be a Sagittarius. But somebody wants to bring balance to this situation. Somebody, more than bring balance to the situation, somebody wants to bring you balance, period. And they might have been going back and forth about making this situation. They could have spent a lot of time being single with the nine of coins here. But yeah, the six of coins, they want to balance the scale. So they're going to be moving forward. Oh, wait, <laughs> that came out upright. They're going to be moving forward to make you an offer yes because you got the seven of cups coming out here reversed so it's like yeah you got two sevens back to back too so spiritual journey a lot of them could have been having a dark night of the soul going on a spiritual journey right now trying to find themselves but with the world here it's like once they come back around you know i'm here and they're gonna be like in the final form this person will finally be able to tap into their emotions you know, they'll be able to put their guard down. They won't have to put up so many barriers towards you. They won't have to feel like they got ten swords in their back anymore. Because they healed. Some of them, they had to move away to do this healing. Hold on, let me look at my phone. Pause my damn video. I was about to say, fuck. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah, a lot of them could have been moved away to get their money together here with the page of coins. But it's like they want to come through and they want to offer a marriage. They want to have a stable home, stable partnership. I'm seeing Boston, this eagle head person. Again, I'm going to look this up. But there is some significance to Boston, this eagle head deity. But somebody wants to work on something with you. The eight of cups or eight of coins here. The fool. They want to have a new start. Yes. This is fucking beautiful. And when they have a new start, they want to have a happy home. They want to manifest something happy with you. They want to have the sun and the dog and all that good stuff. So the judgment card, the judgment is coming through. Judgment is coming in. This person's making a judgment call to heal themselves. So, of course, my video just ended on Instagram. Instagram been doing a lot of weird shit to me lately. So, uh, yeah. Just give me a second, y'all. Save this video on Insta.
thank y'all for bearing with me. <laughs> I'm gonna learn how to edit videos one day, so y'all won't have to see all of this. But if y'all follow me on my journey, then you know, we'll see the upgrades. We'll see everything that's gonna happen. Alright, I'm about to throw live again on this motherfucker. Since they be trying to block me and shit. But yeah, I'm gonna finish up this reading. WTF! 